Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 886. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 886 to 889, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Magic Trick 884, we did a reverse lookup to create a proper data set. So in essence, we had a tabular set of data like this with some variables as row headers and some variables as column headers. <laughs> we need to take all this data and create a proper data set with records, right? Here, uh, we want to go from this data set, field names and then records, and show across tabular, in essence, variables here, variables here, and then list. So North PCC Manager. So North PCC Manager, we should see the name Sue there. Now, in essence, we have two criteria lookup. So I'm going to start off with index. We'll see actually two ways to do this. Now, what do I want to extract? I want to extract manager's names. So I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it. That's easy enough. That's the array. And now the row number. Well, luckily, the two columns are sit in the same row. So if we can establish PCC North there, that'll be the first record. So index then can know the first row and extract Sue. For row number, we'll use match function. Match function can look up a criteria and tell you the, the relative position or row number. We have two, so no problem. The lookup value, I'm going to say north, and north because this column comes first. And I'm going to lock it. I'm going to hit the F4 key one, two, three times. Column reference lock, so when you move it this way, the E is locked. But that 4 is not, so when I move down, the dancing ants move to west. And I'm going to ampersand the join symbol, because I have two criteria. And I'm going to pick that PCC. Now, this one needs to be locked going down, but not to the side. When I move it to the side, I want PCC, the dancing ants, to move to WF. So I'm going to hit the F4 key twice. Now, sometimes it's more robust to put a character in between, like double quote dash double quote ampersand. In this case, I don't see any problem by just uh, ampersanding and joining those. But to, to sometimes that uh, avoids problem like with numbers. Actually, on the answer sheet, I, I do it this way. But here, I'm just going to abbreviate this. And that's the lookup value, the lookup array. Now, we have two bits of criteria here. So I'm simply going to ampersand that column, F4 to lock it, and this one, F4. Now, by ampersanding two columns, it will create from two columns a single column, where North PCC becomes the single thing in a single column. F9 key to evaluate. And you can see, sure enough, North PCC semicolon means go down to the next row in array syntax. Boom, boom, boom. Control Z. I'm going to do, that's the lookup array comma 0 for exact match, close parentheses. Close parentheses. Now, we've joined two columns, so we have to use Control Shift Enter because we're doing some operation. In this case, we're joining on arrays or ranges, more than one item. Control Shift Enter. Double click and send it down and over. And then we can easily fix that NA. Use the, in 2007 and 10, the if error comma, and then double quote. I want to show nothing when there's an NA. Close parentheses, Control, Shift, Enter. Double click and send it down. Now, the index and match is a great way to go. You know, and a lot of us are comfortable with index and match. But there is a way to avoid Control, Shift, Enter. Escape. And we're going to come down here. And we're going to use the lookup function. The lookup function can handle arrays without Control Shift Enter. Now let's look at the inside of the lookup function before we even touch it. Let's just see if we can create a string of trues and falses that will tell us when this and this uh, match one of the records here. I'm going to do that same construction, the north, F4 to lock the column reference, ampersand, the row header, so F4, F4, lock the row reference. Anytime that's equal to. F4, ampersand, F4. So I can highlight this and hit the F9. And of course, there are no duplicates up here. So it's only going to give me one true. That string of trues and falses we can use inside the lookup function. Now, Control-Z, 
I'm going to divide. I'm going to say 1 divided by that. Now, this will convert the trues to uh, 1's, and the falses will become divide by 0 error. So if I hit F9, Control Z, let's do this first. What's happening is division's happening, and we really need the equal sign and the ampersand to happen before that. So we'll go like that. And now if we highlight this and hit the F9, 1 and divide by 0. The other cool thing about the lookup is it'll just flat out not uh, show that divide by 0. Sometimes if we have any error in a formula, it shows an error. But lookup will just find the 1. We'll do a lookup for the 1 and deliver uh, the correct item, Control Z. So now lookup. I'm going to look up what? I'm going to look up the number 1, comma. How about comma instead of an M? There's our lookup vector right there. And the great thing, another great thing about the lookup is you can comma and have a result vector. So F4, close parentheses, Control Enter, not Control Shift Enter. Double click and send it down and over. Now, we want to get rid of these NAs. Now, when we did that up here, I clicked in the cell, edited the formula, copied it down and over. But down here, let's be a little bit more efficient. Notice that the whole range is um, selected, and there's an active cell. So that active cell, I can just hit the F2 key, put it in edit mode. I'm going to do if error again, and then comma, double quote, double quote, close parentheses. And I'm going to uh, populate this edited formula into the selected range with Control Enter. All right. So there we go. Two different formulas uh, for taking a regular proper data set and with no duplicates, listing uh, with row headers and column headers in tabular form. All right, see you next video.